cabbage farmer. Are you still convinced the Templars are right? Convinced to the end. You bastard! Achilles and Liam have already headed north! Hope was right. <laughs> I do make a good distraction. <laughs> It's not a surprise. Thanks for your help, Captain Cook. You're welcome, Captain Cormac. Sailing with you is certainly, um, interesting. Well, trouble does seem to find us, it's true. It, tell me the truth. Are you fellows with a larger organization? The Board of Admiralty. You take your orders directly from His Majesty, don't you? We couldn't tell you, even if we were. You should have these maps. The Levet Andre won't need them anymore. We'll contact you in regards to sponsoring future voyages, Captain. Much obliged. Probably part of this. You can't collateral vice bird such a volume of the street. It's the captain's ship! Blue Space says! Or says! This isn't stopping us! Farewell and adieu to you Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu to your ladies of Spain. For we received orders for the services and guidance. But we may never see you, our ladies, again. We'll run to anchor!
Helms, Helm! Unfurl, mates! Let's move! Master Kenway! The Lavelle Andre's dead. I have the coordinates. I know where the assassins are going. Then, let us make haste. Do you think Achilles and Liam have found the precursor site? The world is still standing. If they uncovered it, they have not yet set the earth in motion. How gentlemanly of them. There should still be time. Master Gist, stay here. I shall accompany Shay. Sir, with respect, are you sure that's wise? As Grand Master, I must investigate this precursor matter to the end and witness the death of Achilles' brotherhood. The assassins do trigger an earthquake. At least there's few around to suffer. I have no intention of letting your former colleagues destroy a precursor site, regardless. This would be beautiful if it wasn't so damn cold. Tread carefully. Some of the sun. rather thin. That's a hefty crew Achilles brought. Doubt he expects all of them to survive these conditions. That's bleak. But we're still outnumbered. Let's keep a low profile, avoid unnecessary fights. Your assassins would scarce recognize you. Come, let us enter their harbor.
stop right I'll there! Take your ass to the next stop him! Run him to the ground! You're so loud! <laughs> Find another way. him sighted I have no idea why that one jumped down and just jumped in the water
Come on, Dolts. Do the job and bring him down. <laughs> I think that tells me everything I need to know about these things. Is this the apple? No, don't touch anything. Shay was right. What would he know? More than me, apparently. Finally, you understand. Achilles. This is a structure to hold the world together, not a weapon to control it. This whole calamity could have been avoided if you'd only listened to me. Disrespectful to the end. Yes, we've been working on that. Right or wrong, Shay. You betrayed the Brotherhood, Achilles, and me, says the man who shot me in the back. At the homestead. That was Chevalier. I don't miss him, don't. <laughs>
took care of that. You'll never find it. Lucky. How many times do I have to tell you, Liam? <laughs> I make my own luck. How do you do that? You bastard. You broke the assassins. Betrayed everyone you knew. You sided with our worst enemies. And for what? <laughs> to save the world. I hope that world is a good one. I think the only two that we have affected him are the young um, hope. And I even wonder. No! Why not? Achilles is harmless now. A mentor with no followers. What kind of world are we making if we cannot show mercy? Besides, he understands what these precursor sites are now. Without him, the assassins may continue their search. Valid points. Never forget what has happened here. I won't. But the world will. So what happens now? Master Gist will be in charge of eradicating any remaining traces of the assassins. Master Weeks and the others will assist him, of course. Achilles has lost everything. He won't dare leave his homestead. He won't. 
Shay, although our search for precursor sites is at an end, I want that box. You will find it for the Templar Order, and for me. Could be anywhere in the world by now. It may take years to find it. It may take your lifetime. Are you up for the challenge? Good. <laughs> Incredible. Who knew that Shay had that kind of potential? I have everything I need to complete our assignment here. One last job, Nubskull. We need you to upload Shay's story. But not to Helix. I want some very specific people to see what we have found here. I'm just saying that Violet didn't have to yell at us for not fixing the elevator before she did. I can't believe she made you cry like that. She said some very hurtful things. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I can't stop crafting Ocula. It's like a disease.
Otto Berg, the big star of the Anami training program. Show me what you've got, you arrogant prick. If you insist, Buster Cross. I believe that my training will soon be complete. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> What's so funny? I was wrong about you. You're not arrogant. You're just deeply fucking stupid! Oh! Your body, your mind, they're not yours anymore. You understand? All you have left are the voices. I don't suffer from your condition. My animus sessions were carefully- No, no, no! My voices are ghosts! Dead! So they can only ever say the same things over and over and over and over! But the ones in your head will never die. And they own you now. I am the Order's humble servant. You're not even a person anymore. You're a tool, a weapon, a plaything. We're done here. And in the glorious New World Order, there won't be any room for broken toys like us! Happened in Haiti, happened in Portugal. A great earthquake. Thousands dead thanks to your damned manuscript. Get him out of here. I want them to know how weak they truly are. And I want everyone to see them suffer. So on the day they finally meet me, they will welcome the death I offer them. She was right. What would he know? More than me, apparently. plan is in motion. I have no further demands to place upon you. However, Shay's story is not complete. I would ask that you see it through to the end. I am super impressed, Nobskull. You really came through for us. And yes, I am also a Templar. Have been for years. Yeah, I figured that one out. Duncan Walpole rose to the ranks to become a master assassin. But he was restricted by a brotherhood which chose to send him across the ocean to the West Indies, rather than find a way to nurture his potential. Once there, Duncan attracted the notice of Loriano Torres, former governor of Cuba and Templar Grand Master. 
Through their correspondence, Taurus offered a less violent way to achieve their mutual goals. By using precursor artifacts as a surveillance system, rather than the murders and scheming favored by the Brotherhood. Sadly, Duncan was killed by a pirate before the Templars could help him achieve his potential. Although Duncan's story does not have a happy ending, it clearly demonstrates that the Templars' highest goals of peace and order need not exclude personal success and achievement.
Sean Hastings was a university professor whose hobby was leaking Abstergo secrets. He was hours away from being killed by Abstergo when he was saved by Rebecca Crane, an assassin hacker. Since then, the pair have been inseparable, providing technical support for assassin field agents. Hastings and Crane infiltrated Abstergo Entertainment Montreal in late 2013, and were responsible for the theft of classified information. It is unclear if they planted the virus currently affecting the Helix servers, or if they merely left the door open for other hackers to exploit. Rebecca Crane's skills are not to be underestimated. She created the Animus 2.0, an assassin version of Warren Vidic's original machine. It appears that she was also largely responsible for establishing a new, more secure assassin network. It would seem Crane and Hastings have been promoted within the Brotherhood. There are rumors that they are now leading some kind of hacker collective known as the Initiates, and attempting to lure them to the Assassin's side.
One last chunk of Shay's data left to explore. It's a bit of a trip, but I think you should see it. Hand-drawn animations are fantastic! We're making good progress here. The box is live. Thorkin's picking off the stragglers as they escape. Hood, proceed to stage two. All points, the word is given. Stage two is a go. I repeat, stage two is a go. Get those doors down. Three, two. Adriano Maestranzi, I have come for you. What's he holding? Vittoria, ugly assassin. Bomb! Sigma team, anyone, do you copy? I think that's putting it lightly. Hmm, how about now? No? Mm. Now? No. Shit. Why isn't this working?
This is a priority message to all Sigma Team operatives. Assassins have stolen an artifact from a Rotterdam storage facility. Rally point is at 51.887107 by 4.559017. Be there at 0600 local time. Stragglers will be put to death, so move it. Listen up, losers. There are two confirmed assassins operating in the city. Target number one is Harlan Cunningham. The only survivor of a cell in Florence that our fearless leader eradicated a couple of years back. He stole the precursor box and is on the run. Target number two has been identified as Aaron Shute. 